Chason into the offensive zone, drops it over to the left side. Wraparound attempt, score! Matt Nieto patiently brings it around the back side, and he scores the first goal of the 60th beam pot. Not sure this is a style of hockey that Harvard wants to play against BU where they trade chance for chance. One opportunity for BU, another for Harvard on the counterattack, and then BU right back down, and it's a wraparound goal by Nieto. He took that little pass from Chieson, had options with his head up. So Michael had come out to challenge, didn't have much net to shoot at. The area when a player's attacking the net, goaltender's out around the top of the crease. Here's that beautiful bid, short-handed. Blackwell in alone, little pump fake, tries to get Milan to open up. He did, but when he tried to slide it under that left pad, through the legs, Milan able to be well-positioned enough to get that pad to the ice. And then Harvard back to even strength, gets a shot from the point that's deflected. Reeking through the middle of the ice, and he made a great move. Milan's been real good, calm, poised. Not a ton of opportunities for Harvard at this point, but neither has BU. It's been a relatively even game. A Regan with the most uh, recent opportunity. The Escobedo keeps it in on the far side. Escobedo tied up McNally for Harvard. Getting it over to the far wall. Pass taken away by Dill. Dill passing. Score! Megan at the end buries it. Wade Megan gets his 13th of the year, his team leading eighth on the power play, and it's a 2-0 lead for the Terriers. Well, these are tough penalties uh, or power play goals to give up because you've done a nice job killing the penalty just about the entire time. It's a possession backhand attempt by Harvard along the wall to try to break the puck out, but when they don't connect, that's a turnover. And Megan's just kind of drifting off that far post. They have to finish this period off the right way. Ideally, they get a goal and cut into the BU lead, but they certainly can't give up another one. Here's Megan, and he scores! Wade Megan! Top shelf, his second of the period, and a 3-0 lead for the Terriers. Oh, what a strong move by Megan, taking this puck to the net. Little back in forehand, roof move. Put the puck in a position where you have leverage. Take advantage of the goaltender being a little deep in his net, but it starts right off the faceoff. Harvard gets the win, but BU puts good pressure on the puck. They create a little two-on-one by being strong on the puck, and this is good recognition by being by attacking the net. He, he is now the goal-scoring leader for Boston University. It was still Corey Trevino coming into the night. And Trevino hadn't been here since Christmas, so you talked about those other guys stepping up. They've had a lot of people step up. And here's the power play, and a goal! Killorn left alone in front. He gets the crimson on the board, and it's a 3-1 game. Oh, a huge goal for Harvard, to say the least. They needed to get back into this after giving up the third BU goal. They get the power play opportunity. They had to take advantage, and they do. It appeared that BU had a chance to clear their zone. Chason trying to pull that puck to open space and then get on the forehand to give him the necessary leverage to throw that puck the length of the ice. But he got forced off the puck. The caster just let that puck go along that low dash or instead of fielding it, getting it on his forehand and looking up ice to make a play leads to a chance for Kalorn. Then Kalorn's going to get another chance right here. This breakdown in coverage, even though BU players are back in the defensive zone. Harvard will send it up the ice one last time as Blackstrom shoots it on net. Boston University will head to the Beanpaw Championship for the 26th time in 29 years.